With Monster Hunter Wilds only being out for a little over a week now, I'm surprised to say that it already has 3.2 million downloaded mods and over 300 mods on the Nexus. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some performance mods as well as the Monster Hunter Wilds overlay, as well as a cosmetic Ardian weapon replacer mod. All the mods I'll be looking at today were downloaded off the Nexus and then installed through the Fluffy Mod Manager. If you guys are having trouble modding, I have a couple how to mod videos for Monster Hunter Wilds, so go check those out if you're having some trouble. Let's first take a look at the Monster Hunter Wilds overlay. This mod was uploaded and created by Ling Samuel, but before you can install this mod, you're first going to need the cat lib mod, of course RE framework, as well as RE Framework D2D. Like I said, all you need to do is throw these mods into the Fluffy Mod Manager and activate them before the overlay is going to work. If you installed the mod correctly, you should see the Monster Hunter Wilds overlay in the RE Framework configuration under the script generated UI. And there's just way too many options for me to cover in this video. If you guys want to download the mod for yourself, there's just so much customization you can do, it's insane. You can also enable or disable whatever features of this mod you would like. Of course, there's the monster's health bar, the player damage output, there's certain bars that tell you how close the monster is to being paralyzed or poisoned. You can also adjust the color, size, and where these bars are located on your screen through this UI menu. Just be careful when you're editing stuff because it will save even if you quit out the game. So I messed with a bunch of sliders and my health bar disappeared and stuff was too small. Just adjust stuff slowly and make sure you know what you're adjusting. Otherwise stuff might disappear and you won't know how to get it back. And it's not surprising to see this as one of the most downloaded mods on the Nexus. Some people may call it cheating. Some people think that monster hunter doesn't need health bars but honestly it's just a useful tool if you just want to see damage numbers especially if you're playing in a party you can see who's slacking because it shows you which players are doing what damage at what times obviously don't use this mod to harass people if they're not pulling their weight but at least you can see how much damage you're doing and you could compare different weapons maybe comparing the damage output of a long sword versus a great sword or just your primary weapon versus your secondary weapon personally i usually don't use these overlay mods i just think they're a useful tool the main reason i love these mods is seeing how much health each monster has especially that big sack and the ice spikes whatever the heck his name is, the big leviathan that ain't laggy. Now he's a chonky fella. Or even use it to compare tempered monsters versus regular monsters. And I guess I should mention this now, but there are gonna be spoilers. If you haven't beat the game, what are you doing? Overall, this is just an amazing mod. It's in the top four right now, it's in the number four slot, and I'm sure it's gonna stay there, if not climb, throughout Monster Hunter Wild's history. And up next, I'll be looking at two mods in tandem, these being Wild's Optimizer, FPS Boost, blah blah blah, uploaded by Vanilla Coffee. This mod claims to boost performance by 10 plus FPS, and I can say that it did definitely work. And from the testing that I did, it boosted it up to 20, even 30 FPS in most areas. Before, in the villages as well as out in the environments, I was only getting around 30 to maybe 38 FPS. And then with this mod installed, I was getting a solid 50 to 60 FPS in almost all the areas I visited. This mod does change your settings, so I was running it at the base settings that it set it to, and then I upped it and it still ran perfectly fine. I'll put my specs up on screen. I don't have anything crazy. I'm sure some of you are running this on older PCs, maybe with a 10 or 20 series graphics card, or even a laptop. I do also have a laptop that I downloaded this mod on, and it did help a ton with performance. And the other mod is the Direct Storage 1.2.2 upgrade to 1.2.3 IO Stutter Fix. And as the name implies, it fixes those weird little stutters that you would get mainly out in the environments where there's just a ton going on. Maybe there's a bunch of little herbivores running about. And a huge thanks goes out to Derek's 2094. This mod, as well as the optimization working in tandem, is just a flawless experience. So if you guys are having FPS issues or stutter issues, I would download one, if not both of these mods, as it just greatly improves the gameplay. 
especially on PCs where they don't have a huge amount of VRAM, my laptop included, I think I only have eight gigabytes, six gigabytes, something real low, but it was so playable after I downloaded these mods. And for the last mod of today's showcase, this is an Ardian weapon replacer. You should be able to use any Ardian weapon replacer through the fluffy mod manager. And this mod is lightsaber longsword uploaded by Ray VVV. This mod has several different colors to download, blue, cyan, green, can even be Master Windu. Of course, I had to go with the Sith Red. And I've seen all the hate online, people really don't like the Ardian weapon look. Personally, I think they look cool, don't hate, but of course we want to put cosmetic mods on them because who just wants to have the same weapon look? I mean, Hopefully in the G rank or even in one of the first expansion DLCs we get, we'll have layered weapons, but for now we just have to use the modding community. And all these weapon replacer mods, of course you don't have to use this one, are just perfect for all those fashion hunters. Personally, I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, so I even said this in one of my previous videos, I was looking forward to a lightsaber mod, and here it is. Now I can play out all my dark fantasies of being a Sith Lord inside the Monster Hunter universe. And this texture mod really shines literally when you have the bloom effect enabled. It just makes the sword pop, of course, it gives it that bloom effect. I do think it would be cool if when you sheath the mod, the lightsaber would disappear because, you know, just be slicing your back up when you have it sheathed. But who am I to criticize? I, I don't make mods. And I'm probably going to be using this mod for the rest of my playthrough unless something better comes out. I'm sure there's going to be a ton of Elden Ring and Dark Souls texture mods that come out. But personally, I'm a Star Wars fan. I love lightsabers. This mod's just perfect for me, especially that Sith Red. I'm going to be slaying so many younglings with it. And using the RE framework, you can get all those juicy screenshots or juicy panovers. Just some nice B-roll footage if you're a content creator. I don't know if I just haven't unlocked them yet, but I didn't really see any weapon poses. So I had to do most of the shots where the lightsaber is sheath, you know, slice up my back up, but it's whatever. That's all I really have for you guys today. If you have any questions, shoot me a comment. Go check out my how to mod videos if you're having any trouble. And if you want to see more mod showcase videos in the future, stay tuned to my channel. Give me a like, subscribe. If that doesn't interest you, I have a few retrospectives out on my channel. One for Unite, one for Portable Third. So if you're into the longer form content, I have that as well. And of course, I just want to thank all of you for watching this video. I hope you're all having an awesome, Monster Hunter Wilds experience and go check out some mods on the Nexus because there's always crazy stuff coming out every single day. And as always, I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I'll see you all in the Gathering Hall. Peace out.